The term Zionism has changed its meaning radically over my lifetime, for example. So 80 years ago, 70 years ago, my views were regarded as part of the Zionist movement. Today, the same views are regarded as anti-Zionist, not because the views have changed, but because the concept has changed. So uh, it's very difficult to deal with a concept that keeps changing in meaning. Uh, Zionism back in the 1940s, when I was becoming a, an activist at that time called a Zionist activist, uh, had no commitment to a Jewish state. It was committed, as Rudy just said, to the right of Jews and Palestinians to self-determination in what was then Palestine, uh, was opposed to the idea of a Jewish supremacist Jewish state in which the indigenous population would be second-class citizens. That was considered part of the Zionist movement at that time. In fact, a fairly substantial part of it. Later, that came to be called anti-Zionism. Well, that's a shifting concept which really can't be discussed. We can discuss the principles that ought to be uh, advocated and implemented uh, give them whatever name you like. Right now, we have a situation where there is, as B'Tselem put it pretty accurately a couple of weeks ago, a Jewish supremacist Palestine, extending from Jordan to the sea. Uh, parts of it are called formally Israel. Parts are part of what are now greater Israel, integrated into Israel, but not formally. Other parts are still left out, but the whole region is essentially Jewish supremacist. If you want to call that Zionism, I'm not a Zionist. If you want to say that Zionism means that Jews, as well as the indigenous Palestinians, have rights of self-determination, yes, then I'm the same kind of Zionist I was 80 years ago.